again. I'm Lexi. I'm Azul. I'm Piper. I'm Eden. I'm Ruby. I'm Charlie. I'm Kaya. I'm Angela. I'm Lola. I'm Ryder. I'm Alexandra. I'm Sophie. I'm Cece. And I'm Nick. And this is KCTV. Hey Cubs, I'm Alexandra. And I'm Angela. Welcome back to an extraordinary new season of KCTV. Today our amazing crew has fun and new interesting content for you guys. In this episode, we will be informing you about wrestling, girls basketball, a PSA about e-cigarettes, why cooking is important, student spotlight, and Casey's Got Talent. Let's get to it! Hey, hey Casey! I'm Lola. And I'm Cece. Have, Have you, you heard, heard of the wrestling, wrestling team? team? Both boys and girls are welcome. Please register by January 24th. Practices start January 28th after school. Have a physical turned into the office by the 24th. Let's, Let's go interview, interview some people. people. Today I'm with Tiger, Quinn, John, Cena. Why are you guys interested in joining the wrestling team? Because I wrestle my best friend and it's really fun. So I can learn new tactics and skills. Because I'm John Cena. Have you guys ever wrestled before? Yes, I've wrestled before. No. Mm -hmm. I'm John Cena. Thanks for watching. Hope, Hope to see you there! Get excited, Casey! Sup, Casey. I'm Angelo. And I'm Ryder. And today we'll be interviewing some people about their experience in ballet. Let's get to it! Okay, we're here with... Rose. Um, okay, Rose. How long have you been doing ballet? Ten years. How long do you intend to do it? Um, probably till I'm 18, but hopefully longer than that, too. Okay, how many performances have you been doing? I've been in uh, six Nutcrackers, and every year we also have like an end of the year recital, so that's ten. And then we all always have a storybook and Mother's Day performance too, so a bunch of those. <laughs> okay, we're here with Hazel. Okay, Hazel, how long have you been doing ballet? I've been doing ballet for ten years now. Okay, how long do you intend to do it for? Um, as long as possible. I don't really know what I want to do after high school, but hopefully as long as possible. Okay, how many performances have you been in? Um, around maybe 20, because we start um, later than when we actually start doing ballet, so. Okay. Um, 20. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hazel. Yeah. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you, Rose and Hazel, for sharing your awesome ballet experience. With us. Bye. Peace out, Casey. What's up, Cubs? I'm Nick. And I'm Morgan. And we're part of the new KCTV crew. And today we're going to interview some sixth graders on their hidden talents. Let's get to it. We're back, Cubs, and this is Joseph. And I'm Dominic, and we're going to be turning into dinosaurs. Wow, that's... I forgot a lot of Wow, that was neat. How, mu how long did it take you guys to learn how to do that talent? About a month. Wow. Do you wish to continue doing this talent? Yes. yes. Where do you guys practice? Just around in the classrooms. Classroom in the park, at a park in the field back there. Yes. Okay. That was pretty cool. Thank you, Donna, Nick, and Joseph. If you have any cool talents you want to share on KCTV, email lisa.wartz at bvsd or... Or talk to any person with a rainbow KCTV badge. Bye! See ya! Hey Casey, it's Ruby and Eden, and we're going to tell you about the health risks of drooling as a teen. According to Healthline.com, many teens are exposed to e-cigarettes or drools at a young age and are not at all aware of the health risks. For example, by using, you have an increased risk of developing cancer, respiratory problems, and asthma attacks. We're here with Ollie and Audrey, and we're going to be asking them about what they know about drooling. Do you guys know what the risks are of using e-cigarettes? Um, it's bad for you. Um, it's like addicting. Uh, what have you guys heard about uh, using e-cigarettes? I've heard that people say it's better than um, using like real cigarettes. That's actually not true because one pod is equal to one pack of cigarettes. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, why do you think there are flavors? To like attract teens to like them? Yeah. Because it like makes it more appealing to like more age limits. I mean, 
Okay. We're here with Miss A, and here's some of the vape devices she's collected from students. We're here with Officer Jeremy, and he's going to tell us the consequences of using an e-cigarette. What are the consequences if you're caught in school? Uh, well, if you got caught in school, you're going to have to deal with the administrators. Uh, there's district policy that dictates uh, possession of cigarettes or tobacco products in the schools, and so you'll probably end up getting suspended. It's going to be something that administrators handle. And what are the consequences if you're caught outside of school? So if you get caught out in town with it, uh, you likely would, well, the officer would seize that, and they could seize the product for you're not actually allowed mm -hmm. to have it. We hope you learned the risks of e-cigarettes and stay safe. Thanks for watching, Casey. Okay, hi, I'm here with Chloe and Emily. So, um, do you guys think it's important to know how to cook? I do, because I think that with the even with the wrong ingredients, if you know how to cook, you can make something that tastes good, which would be important for college when you're on a strict budget. Um, I think it is important to know how to cook because it's a good skill to have on your own. Cool. Um, so, now be honest, the big question, do you guys actually know how to cook? No, not, not at all. I cook water and a salad. But, <laughs> yeah. I kind of know how to cook. Like, so when you say you kind of know, does that mean you cook for your family at home? Yeah, you... especially in Mexico. Oh, that's cool. Um, so what's your guys' idea of a nutritious meal? Lots of fruits and vegetables. Uh, proteins, not a lot of um, sugars and carbohydrates. Maybe less sugary drinks. Cool. So guys, this is why we're going to be doing cooking videos for people like Chloe, which actually <laughs> happened to be two-thirds of the entire school. So, hope you guys keep watching. Hey Casey, today we're going to be making French toast. Breakfast is a really important part of your day. It is said to be the most important meal um, in your whole day. It gets you going in school, and that is why we're going to be cooking so French toast. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to take two eggs, and you're going to put it in a little bowl, right? Um, make sure, and then you're going to mix it, whisk it together until all of it is yellow. Then you're going to add some milk. Alright, pour it in. Yay! And then you're going to mix them together. Some cinnamon. Some cinnamon. Refer to melt. So now you're going to take some bread, some whole wheat bread. Yay! It's going to get real, real soggy. Now we're going to put it in. Sup, Casey? Are you guys ready for the best season of girls basketball you've ever seen? I'm Piper. And I'm Kaya. And today we're going to learn more about girls basketball than some of the players. Let's get into the questions. So we're here with... Peyton! Carlita! So let's start with the questions. How long have you guys been playing? Since fourth, fourth grade. grade. Why did you guys want to join the team? Um, because we thought that it was going to be really fun to play basketball with other girls. Yeah. Team experience. When do you guys practice? Every day. After school from 3.50 to 5.15. Are you guys excited for the new season? Yeah. yeah. And when's your next game? The 28th. Cool. Thanks for talking Thanks. with us. Wow, that was so cool! Thanks for telling us more about girls basketball. Make sure to come support your fellow Cubs at their next game Monday the 28th. Until next time, Casey! Bye, Cubs! Cubs, I'm Sophie, and we're here with... Michael Ledesma. Um, we're going to ask him a couple of questions about Sierra Club. So, um, when is the next trip? Uh, the next trip we have actually is this Sunday. It's a snowshoeing trip that includes um, snow cave making and snow ice cream and backward snowshoe race and a bunch of other goofy stuff that we do. Does being in Sierra Club cost anything? No. Um, there's no, neither for the club nor for the outings are there any fees. So all you really need to do is um, get your permission slip in. We, we have all the gear and equipment that anyone would need on the outings. Cool. That sounds really fun. 
Um, the meetings are in Ms. Powers' class after school. See you there!